last week, right after we recorded, of course, we get the bomb dropped on us that Kyle Larson officially going to be racing in the 2024 Indy 500. Oh yeah, big news, big news. We 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 have we have speculated about that. We have wished for that. We have hoped for that. Really, since I feel like we've started doing this show together, and now it's finally going to happen. So, what are your thoughts, Connor? What is that process over the next? year and a few months going to be like for him uh for his preparation to get ready uh to to drive uh in the Indy 500 well it's very interesting that you that you asked that because i think drivers like kyle they get slightly different rules <laughs> like when fernando alonso came over to uh, to try the indy 500 he got um some additional test days that weren't necessarily normal but that was also because he had, you know, another schedule that he was doing as well. But I, I'm I'm excited to see how it plays out. Now, I obviously only have an IndyCar ride to the end of this season so far, but I, you know, hope to everything that I can hope to that we continue obviously racing next year. We have a very successful year this year, so I can get to race against Kyle Larson because I have raced against Kyle Larson, but in a dirt midget and pretty much nothing else. So um it, it it's it's a very, very exciting thing for the Indy five hundred. At the time, as well, when this came out, we we did need some positive news. We there was a, there's still so much flack about the whole iRacing racing motorsport games debacle for IndyCar. So like we just needed some positivity, um, yeah. and 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 that was it. I, I think we got a lot of people talking, um, and it just goes to show you still how powerful the Indy 500 is. It, it, I mean, it is still the it's the greatest race in the world. It's the biggest race in the world. It, it it really is. And there's obviously the Daytona 500, which is, you know, part of the Triple Crown, uh, you know, the Le Mans 24-hour race, of course. Um, but, but there's something about this race that truly does draw those from all around. You know what I mean? And, uh-huh. and it draws those from all around and, and potentially gives them a shot with a good team. I would say a lot of the guys that we've seen from open wheel, you know, not uh, some of us have gone over to the Le Mans 24 hour race, but that's a, that's a different chaotic deal with four drivers. It's crazy. But with the Daytona 500, if you were to see, let's say Elio Castroneves, who's been talking about doing the Daytona 500 this year, he's going to do that. Not with a great team. And, and you know what yep. I mean? And, and it's, 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 you, you won't really have a chance to learn what you need to learn and 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 get what you need to get because first of all there's no practice for the Daytona 500 either. The Indy 500 is still the event where you have a week of practice. You can dedicate every moment of your life during that month of May. Obviously Kyle's going to be doing the double so there's going to be a little bit more on his on his plate, but the Indy 500 is still so unique because you have that opportunity to feel like you have a shot at winning. Um it hasn't happened yet for anyone else that have come over, like like Fernando or uh, or Kurt Busch. Um, but I know, I, I think, I would bet everything that I have in my household that Kyle is going to be competitive. Because I think right now McLaren is spending more money than any other team on the grid. I think they're using their Formula One connection very, very efficiently. And I think they've hired some incredible people over there. So there's a lot of really good things for Kyle. And of course... He's not going to do it unless he's got a shot to win. He doesn't need to. And and I, I honestly hope the same for Denny. I would love to see Denny do it. I think that would be really, really cool. And we obviously want to see Kyle Busch do it too. But it just goes to show you how powerful this event is and how exciting it is, you know, for drivers from any region to think about doing. Yeah. I mean, it's fact. Hopping into McLaren ride, like you said, he's uh, he, he once he gets it figured out, we know that he will. Um, he's going to be right up there. I mean, anybody, I'd love to see the betting odds, uh, you know, looking ahead to 2024. It's a little too far out, but once we get to that point, let's see where they slate old Kyle Larson there in the McLaren <laughs> 2024 and 500. I, I, I bet you probably feel pretty good about, um, you know, throwing, throwing down a, a little wager on him. 